so now if you'll ask me you know like what part i like the most like you know starting from that desire to have a doctor to teaching i would say teaching you know as a faculty you cannot understand the sense of responsibility that we have on our shoulders every day to you know to develop that connection with the student at first and then and then maintaining that connection throughout the four years of journey so many hurdles so many things will come you know so hello guys welcome back to my channel this is our fifth episode and you are going to surprise with our eminent guest for today's shoot which is our akash athod sir who is hod of fashion department although he have a lot of experiences first of all he is have a seven years of experiences in only teaching although he have quite all the experiences so let us start with the video so sir first of all greetings of the day thank you very much you too how are you sir i am great how are you i am also fine how was your day and it was great it was great okay so sir let us start with the work questions yes definitely i'm quite excited okay so sir my first question would be is a fashion designing is a designing only or it's a kind of a art well see to answer this question you know first of all let me differentiate between art and design sure because, because a lot of people use these two terms you know quite interchangeably art is something when you do for your own leisure mm -hmm. it is not generally until unless you are doing a commission work for a client it is generally not very user centric okay. if i am liking something you know i'll simply draw it sure. whereas designing or design on the other hand has a purpose okay. you do it with a purpose it is highly user centric mm -hmm. so when, when you talk, talk about, about fashion, fashion designing, designing so, so obviously, obviously although, although there is an art mm -hmm. involved but yes it should have a purpose mm -hmm. if you talk about like you know there there is a separate category which you call that avant garde fashion okay. where which most of the times or you know sometimes not not wearable at all but it is just to show the the, the creative you know and the artistic part of a designer so yeah that is so you can say majorly fashion designing is more with a purpose and less of an art okay it's like a creativity yeah it's 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 creativity okay sir so by this i would come to my next question okay how does the technology influence fashion industry well uh since you know time immemorial or if i'll say since the industrial revolution we took up took up took in you know in in great britain mm -hmm. technology has always you know influenced fashion in every context you know be it the you know the invention of steam engine you know which helped in the you know the 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 fast manufacturing of garments okay initially everything used to be done with hands okay on on the looms okay but after the you know the invention or the introduction of you know technology the you know the the mills and the production system you know the mass production system came came into picture and you know that is how it started and recently if you see we are going towards you know the metaverse and the nfts mm -hmm. uh virtual technology mixed reality augmented reality everything is into picture and fashion is one of the industry that is actually picking up this trend on quite fast now if you see you all probably have um, you pro all probably must be having a snapchat uh, you know you must be using snapchat so now you have different avatars you have the you know you have your you know the avatars theek okay? hai so now there are a lot of fashion companies and now as a physical person i do wear clothes theek okay? hai so similarly our avatars do need clothes as well so when you design your avatars you know you actually choose okay this is like your how your facial feature should look like you know this is whether you need a t-shirt or shirt theek okay? hai so you you actually choose a look for your avatars so there are a lot of fashion brands who are actually designing those looks for your avatars and you won't 
I, I mean, you will be surprised like me. Uh, recently, I was, uh, you know, reading about these, um, some of the metaverse trends in fashion and lifestyle. So I came to know that, you know, uh, dating app Tinder, what, yeah, yeah. What, what, what they are planning, they are planning to set up an environment where not us, like not my physical me, my avatar gonna, you know, date with people. Oh. So, and with, you know, because I think post COVID-19, you know, during that lockdown, I think we realized that yes, we can live alone, you know, and lot, and, and it's not, I mean, we are completely fine, you know, with, you know, residing in, in without like four walls and not meeting, you know, people much like, you know, often. So I think what change I have seen among people is, you know, they don't want to meet, you know, other people. So, you know, like, you know, in a physical mode. Okay, so that is why meeting each other, you know, through your virtual self, okay, the fashion avatars, I think that will be the future and fashion industries, you know, keeping up with this trend, you know, in a good way. In your conversation, you just told about the uh, handloom texting. Textile. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So I have a question. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, what is the first time you have to do this? I have to do this. I have to do this. Okay. So, when the technology evolved, it was not going to be done. Take care. Now, dresses are not going to be done. And moreover, that is the first time dresses are not going to be It is costly. Okay. But now it's not uh, much costly and the clothes are ready made, the machines are made, it's costly. Hai. So why is that? I mean, it's made with hand se ban hai and it's a fine textiles as well. So why not? See, uh, it's about the changing desires and taste. It's not the case that the bandhani, if you, uh, you, you just said or you know, we generally call it a tie and dye. You tie the garment, you know, and then you dye it, you get like, colorful patterns. So it's not that it's not in the market, it's in the market, but the demand for it, you know, is not much. Demand is too Yeah, yeah. So the present demand, whatever it is there, it is from the people who still know how to appreciate the beauty of a craft or the people who are from the craft sector, who understand that, you know, without our effort, this industry, you know, is gonna, you know, I mean, we're gonna lose this industry forever. So, although there are a lot of designers who are working, you know, who are trying to contemporize the, the traditional motifs or the traditional designs or, you know, the color palette, because obviously, see, with the time, our preferences, our taste, everything change. I mean, we are not the same person that we were 10, ten years before. No, our taste has changed. Okay, so similarly, the Indian textiles or the craft especially, they have to keep the, you know, keep up with the same pace and they have to, you know, modernize, if not in like entirety, like in the process, which is still very tedious, lot of hand, but in terms of, you know, the, the, the look or, you know, the, 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 the product. So first of all, I will appreciate your dressing sense. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, I want to ask you, do you want to be a fashion designer from the past? No, I think uh, I was always interested in fashion. I mean, since my childhood, you know, I was always interested in fashion. Like I used to be very, I was very choosy when it comes to, you know, picking up the garments. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, and all, all, and like always, I never used to get like, you know, very colorful garments, like, you know, men, like something I like. So I used to, we are my sister's clothes as well, which is, you know, I mean, it is out of interest or, you know, probably because I don't used to get like the desired, you know, the silhouette or the fabric, which I quite liked. Okay, so, yeah, I think so. I was always interested in fashion. But, uh, yes, I always, uh, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a career, I wanted to be a doctor. Okay, so I prepared for like, you know, the, the, the PMTs, you know, the, the, the exams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was a... I took, uh, opted for, you know, the medical uh, stream in my, you know, 11th and 12th standard, yes. So, I gave the exam, you know, destiny, okay, and came to, like, uh, pursued, like, came to LPU, uh, pursued uh, my BTEC Honors Biotechnology uh, for four years. And uh, then, I think it was 
partly like my uh, like the upbringing like where i always like the fashion and also uh, my peers like you know they were one of my like he's my, like my very close friend he was from fashion and uh, so i always uh, get fascinated by you know the way he used to work and uh, so it was always that you know in it i mean the constant reminding like you know reminders in your brain that uh, uh, akash you should go for fashion uh, but i was equally interested in biotechnology because i think the parallels that i draw between you know the biotechnology and the fashion which i pursued after you know completing my uh, degree in you know um, the the engineering bachelor's degree so i think the parallels that i can draw or you know the commonality was the 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 part or the word designed if i'll talk about biotechnology yes we have to work on a designed set of you know experiment in a laboratory probably okay because obviously i told you design is you design has a purpose and whatever experiment we used to carry out in a laboratory setup it has a purpose so it was well designed you know thing also when it came into fashion okay again i have to design because there was a set i had a target i had a customer in my mind okay so i know for whom i am designing what are the preferences what is the occasion the price point and everything so so it was not very hard for me to switch between you know uh, biotechnology to fashion i think uh, uh, because it was interlinked yeah, yeah it, it was interlinked. interlinked i mean i just found for my convenience that design a common word which actually eased my transition from, from you know one discipline, discipline to another yeah so very important question how do you convince your parents i think i never found it hard to convince my parents uh, luckily my father is very supportive like very supportive but sir uh, in today's generation if the person wants to uh, come to the industry of fashion for engineering okay so it is very hard to come for them and there are lot of examples where the students have cried a lot for the fashion designing and something something yes so yes yes yes, yes you are absolutely all right uh, even today i came across you know so many students you know when i talk about uh, they have actually fought with their parents you know to to come to you know fashion because and i mean i i don't want to blame the parents i think it's about the you know the the, the acceptance i mean uh, the way the fashion industry has been projected you know you know it's not very you know correct if you if if i'm if yeah if i put it in right way, uh, right words uh, for a lot of people fashion designing is just tailoring like if you are a fashion designer you are a tailor the most common you know perception about people it's a myth yeah it's a myth which is a big myth you have no idea how much research how much uh, research like from understanding the emotions of people like which you known as you know the 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 context setting or you know empathizing with people to creative practice you know from trend uh, from trend researching to understanding your client to market sourcing to everything like whole lot of energy and you know research goes so people generally you know see the outcome of that you know the fashion design industry which is a garment and they say okay the same garment a tailor can make so how you are different from a tailor simple until unless they don't understand the you know the and uh, appreciate the beauty of that process which i am quite happy that the, the the parents of the present generation especially gen z's they can easily understand it thanks to social media that they actually understand like you know how much effort a designer put to make a garment so i think present generation like you know the parents of like the gen z's they are quite you know open when it comes to you know sending their kids for uh, you know pursuing industry like career in fashion and especially for a male child for female it's it's quite easy you want you say you want to be a fashion designer it's fine but being a male child and especially a single male child and asking and choosing a career in fashion it's not easy still not easy so this problem 
is being shared like generally it is the male you know students who generally share this you know problem that you know uh, our parents say that you know what sort of uh, because the whole portrayal of you know the fashion industry is not very you know nice i think uh, for 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 people so i think there's still you know some uh, clarity not some i think lot of clarity that people need when it comes to you know understanding the fashion industry so so my next question would be how does fashion impact personal identity and self expression well uh, i think it does fashion does i mean fa when i say fashion i i mean to say like you know clothes because uh, they are actually the tools through which we portray our personality like every person has a personality you know and uh, the gender expression so clothes makeup bodily modifications like piercing tattoos you know all this is a tool to portray who we are you know so lot of people think that you know if you if 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 if, if a man is wearing you know probably uh, female clothes or you know probably something you know which is not uh, ideal for a male to wear you know so somehow it you know affects his you know behavior or expression so i think that is not the case although it is vice versa as i told you we try to wear you know or we feel more you know comfortable in wearing something with whom we think we can portray ourselves in a much better way so if i think okay for first of all you know for to to make it understand i think we need to understand the two concepts you know quite clearly uh, the your your biological sex and the gender when you talk about biological sex there is a very common binary we all you know listen on day to day basis male and a female and which depends on the basis of your the the morphology of your genitalia you are born with penis you are a male or otherwise you are a female and the third is the intersex and that is you know the third category which you say yeah not the transgender the third category that is you know lot of myths about it generally the the intersex something or we you in 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 india in in india you know call it a hijra community they are not transgenders i might be a transgender properly like you know born as a biological male but i might identify myself as a transgender that is has to do with the gender expression so first of all when i talk about sex you have the very common binary male female and you have the intersex when you talk about the gender or the gender expression the male has to be masculine the female has to be feminine intersex may choose and intersex you know people may choose then there is and when you talk about the gender expression gender expression is generally acquired it is a learned process biological sex you cannot change it once you are born with a certain type of genitalia you will be labeled male female but you learn the gender expression mm. as a male you will be encouraged to play with you know certain kind of toys as a female you will be you know encouraged to play with you know probably the barbie dolls and something so it is a learned process you learn when it comes to so now when you talk about the transgender and the opposite of transgender is cisgender so now if i am a biological male and my gender expression is masculine i consider myself male it means i am cisgender there is no incongruence between my biological sex and my gender expression or who i identify myself like more feminine or you know masculine if you are born as you know a male or female but you identify yourself as a different person then you are a transgender so that doesn't mean and then there is a third concept which is again you know which majority of the people you know listen which is the sexual orientation sexual orientation is whom your heart likes whom you are you know i mean you know attracted to 
mm. where you have the heterosexual or you know you have the homosexual okay, okay? heterosexual means you know this, the, the opposite gender and homosexual means you know the same gender so this whole definition of you know biological sex gender and sexual orientation it is so diverse you know it's so hard to understand and so you can say now whether whatever you know uh, gender sex or you know orientation you are you know born with you will clothing being a very basic necessity as per you know maslow's hierarchy of need take a roti kapda and makan the very basic need you will choose certain type of clothing to express yourself and clothes always been a very silent way of you know communi commun communicating like who you are be it a personality or be it a profession how do you recognize that a person belongs to the military it's the the the, the, the clothing the of yeah how do you uh, how do you you know recognize or you know differentiate between a doctor and you know probably an uh, ncc cadet again through the clothing okay so you can say it is a way a tool to express a tool you know for expressing yourself so it's not the case that you know if you wear garments of you know opposite sex you know it some, somehow change your behavior rather it is the other way you are born in a definite way or you know you are nurtured in a definite way so that is why you choose garments with which you you know probably you know relate yourself more so will you please explain me more about lgbtq plus community also the spectrum which is involved in that 